Hello, everyone. Welcome to What's Old Saturday. Welcome to What's Old Saturday. Finally in the same location. In the same little lovely room with the same little outlet right in between us, just like any other place. Instead of being <laughs> separate and doing a, like, choppy What's Old, we're finally back together. Thank God. Here we go. So, this week of What's Old Saturday covers the 3rd through the 9th, and I actually had quite a good sales week, which I'm pretty excited about. I, like, I feel like most of March, and all all of April at this point, um, have had so much stuff to do in terms of school that I haven't been putting any time, hardly at all, into anything Poshmark, or just yeah. resending related, period. Yeah, I'm actually so. pretty surprised that I've had such a good sales week, because, like, we're on the same page, we're really not, like, sharing very much, we're not, not like, sending all. offers out. I I send offers maybe once a day. I'm bad when I like have time and when I like don't have time. It just gets worse. I know. Which is, mm. And we've been <laughs> spending the entire weekend filming for a thrift with us that's coming on Tuesday. We have to film a haul. Day. We have been. I think that's going to be a two parter. So busy. So I am quite happy that I, I had a good sales week. Mine wasn't bad. No. But I'm definitely like my gross, my net. I'm like, oh. Yeah. Okay. We're very pleasantly surprised. Yes. So I also would like to say thank you to Janie. I completely forgot last week that she was a viewer that purchased from me. She purchased Sorry. an anthropology like wool hat and I forgot to mention her and she pointed it out to me and so I wanted to say thank you Janie. Those really fun shirts that we got that one time, the Courage <gasps> the Cowardly Dog. The I meant Smith to wear it. I meant to wear it today but it's in the wash. Mine is still dirty. We haven't done one. I know. That's okay. um, those are I'm from Judy. They're from Fab Judy. Fab Judy. Judy. The most fabulous of My all, queen. Fab Judy. She sent us those. They just didn't have a name on them, but it's her. She's the icon. Yes, She's the smart one that caught those little, like, one time that I said yeah, that I wanted Courage Yeah, I know like, when I would have talked about Anna She Coulson is like a channel. super sleuth. Like, she's... She... I amazing. wish I had the... Not attention span. Attention to detail. I wish I had as much focus <laughs> as she does. It's not going to happen. Yes. Also, that's okay. one last thing. I'm glad that you guys liked the... Oh, oh, oh. Okay. So oh, I'm God. glad that you guys oh, liked God. the interview on Thursday. So... Fun fact. We filmed that whole video completely separate. I was in class. All of... Jack did his part. All of my reactions. <laughs> he sat over there and asked me the questions. My response was genuine, but he was like, okay, here's this question. All of I my would... reactions, faces, questions, everything, I filmed alone, staring at a wall. So at the end, I'm going to put a little Easter <laughs> egg, a little fun clip of the unedited raw footage of me sitting in here awkwardly making faces at myself because I posted it to my Instagram and I know not all of you are on there but everyone it on Instagram really funny. thought it was like the funniest thing ever so stay tuned to the end for that it is kind of funny for me it's really cringy but it's pretty funny yes. and if I yawn in this video it's because I am actually tired <laughs> okay. this time so now that we've babbled for three and a half minutes let's jump in <sighs> speaking okay. of three the first day is the third wow so, what a time <laughs> what a transition on the third I had six sales. I had two. <laughs> My first sale was this Ralph Lauren Polo Bear Fleece Throw Blanket and it sold for $45 and gave me $36 and that was a bins find. All Polo Bear stuff it does quite well because it's expensive. Polo bear stuff. Then to Laurel. Hello, Laurel. We've seen her at the bins a few times. She's I love her. super sweet. She's... We Last time we were into her, we were unique. Yeah. And she was like, oh, I'm on the way out of town. Yes. Like, Hello. She's so amazing. She, she is a funny little lady. I love her to death. She purchased this vintage leather woven deer embossed belt for $22 and I get $16. And that is for her husband, so I hope he loves it. Good for her. Then I sold to Amy. Hello, Amy. Amy and thank Amy. you. She purchased this adorable anthropology scallop twist bikini top. She that saw it in the cute. hall and had to have it. And I sent her an offer of 20 with discount shipping, so I get $13.54. Then to Jill. Jill snatching up more of our amazing home anthropology stuff that we would keep if we weren't moving. If I wasn't <laughs> going to not be the same place. She purchased this Anthropology Anya Ceramic Textured Tumbler for 30 and I get 24 And as usual, she left me a really sweet love note. She always leaves the nicest little notes. It's I like know. a note from, like, your mom. Your best friend. <laughs> then I, I saw this Ikea bag, AirPods case, or coin purse keychain for 10 and I get 7 dollars I love those. And last on the third, I saw this Reformation High Waist Black Bikini Bottoms. They were from Last Chance. Mm -hmm. And... I sold them for 30 and I get 21.54 and those sold in under 24 hours. I love when Reformation sells fast. Okay, first on the third, Cicella's tan suede slip-on loafers. I just got a new phone and I haven't figured out how to make the pictures bigger. So if I'm like this, I apologize. 
Sold for 25, I made 20. Next on the third, my second and final sale, Coconuts by Matisse Raffia Black Platform Sandals. These came from Chicago, the Chicago pile that we did. Sold for 30, I made 24. Then on the fourth, I only had one. I had two, again. My one sale was this Free People Pink Floral Print Bikini Dress, and I actually have another one of these. This one sold for 45 and gave me 36. I had a lot of likes. My first one was this Free People, I think it's called the Chalet, S H. S-A-H-E-L-I, chalet, maybe. Cream mesh embroidery top. It's very important that we know how you it's know, I always feel, I don't like looking, looking like a dumb dumb when I don't know how to pronounce anything. So spell <laughs> I, it. Yeah. I guess that doesn't I, make it. <laughs> I have sold this top before and I was very happy to sell it again. Sold for 36 and I made 28.80. And then my last on the fourth was a bundle of this J. Crew Brown Leather Eddy Structured Satchel Bag and this Kate Spade Highliner Clover Camera Style Crossbody. A bundle sold for $100 and I made 80. Then on the fifth, all the numbers are going together. I had five on the fifth. <gasps> Me too. Funny. So I started off the day, I woke up to these first two sales, like these first two offers. And I was like, this is going to be a good day for sales. So I sold this Stella McCartney Wildcat Silk Pull-On Pants and they sold for $200 Whoa. and I get 160 Then... Those were so cute. Accepted this offer. One second later, I sold this pair of Ula Johnson Velvet Polka Dot Wide Flowy Pants and they sold for 125 and I get 100 I love Ula Johnson. What, I wish I could find her more. What a beautiful way to wake up <laughs> to making what 325 in sales beautiful then oh, i sold items. this deaf leopard tie-dye band tee for 26 and i get 20 80 then to helen hello helen. helen i sold this anthropology multicolor laced embroidered top with this anthropology heart loom metallic striped sweater perfectly cute pink pieces for spring. Love those. Love I believe them. that she spent 55 because I took the screenshot wrong. I think I <laughs> took every single bundle screenshot wrong, so I'm going to be taking a guess at the prices. Oops. But I do know that I profited 44 So thank you, Helen. And she also left a sweet note. Then to Rebecca, <gasps> she purchased Rebecca? this mod cloth palm tree embroidered blouse. Super adorable. Again, good for spring. And she purchased it for 30 and I get 21.54. So thank you, Rebecca. And that is it for my fifth. Okay, first on the fifth was this Johnny Wes for Love and Liberty white silk tank top only sold for 25 It had some, she had some issues, so I hope Vicky Cox 224 is able to rework those issues and turn this into the beautiful piece I know it can be. Sold for 25 I made 20 Then I sold this New Without Tag Urban Outfitters plaid halter mini dress mini dress, excuse me, sold for 30 with a shipping discount I made 21.54. And then Jill, good old Jill. Let's she said, go. I need the other one of those Anthropology AM mugs, the Anya the a yeah. the other ones um and a vintage handmade woven straw trinket key basket which if that picture looks terrible i'm so sorry <laughs> it decided to list that in haste um <clears throat> bundle sold for 30 dollars. i made 24 then i sold this vintage bacardi rum y2k white crop tank top i found a little stack of these in the bins which i think came from some little bargain or somewhere Probably. Sold for 13, I made 1005. And then last, this went to Sophia. Sophia, I hope you love them. She got these really cute Urban Outfitters white loafer, the jewels, mules. Sold for 35, and I made 28. Is it bad? I'm sitting here like wanting to do like my same reactions I did in the interview when Ryan's talking. I just want to go like, oh. So then on the 6th, I once again had five sales. I didn't have any. I was mm. doing important adult stuff on the 6th. I don't remember when. Is, wait, was this the magic day? Oh, wait. <gasps> I think it was. I think it was too. Oh my gosh, it was. Okay, so mm -hmm. fun story about this. I literally must have taken a shower in holy water or something. Because I went, I had had no sales all day. And I took like a midday shower at like mm -hmm. 2 p.m. or something. And got in the shower, no sales yet. I come out of the shower. Two people had accepted offers that I had sent out. Two people had sent offers on items and then one i think purchased out straight i made five sales in a short shower in like like a 20 minute shower so my first sale and this is one of them was this rococo sand floral sheer <sighs> wrap mini dress this is one of my favorite brands to sell so, for so sure cute. it sold for 165 and i get 132 and that was an offer that was sent to me then i sold this coach double zip black leather crossbody for 50 and I get 37.54. The username is dedicated to deals. And all of a sudden, I think that this is a viewer. So Dedicated I'm, to deals. 
We're Thank dedicated you so to you. Much. Yes. Thank you. She, I believe, yeah, she accepted an offer that I sent out. And so it's sold for 50, I get 37.54. Then this was an offer that I also received during this like holy this water such shower. A cute moment. Anthropology Capulet Embroidered Bomber. I actually paid up. I paid like 20 bucks for this. It sold for 75 and I get 60. Worth it. This was an offer that I received while showering as well. <laughs> this Moschino Floral Graphic Tee. This was mine, but I actually have it in pink. And I just kind of thought like... I like the pink one better. Yeah, I preferred the mm -hmm. pink. I have a floral pink one. And then I have a black plain one. So I was like, do I really need the hybrid? Like, no. Do I need the mix? No. So I sold this for 120 and I get 96 from my own personal collection. Oh yeah, and then this is the one that just sold straight out, which is the least exciting of them That's all. Okay. Anthropology Vanessa Virginia Gold Arrow Print Top, and it sold for fifteen, and I get twelve, and that is it then for my magical sixth. I'm looking at myself in the camera, speaking of t-shirts, and I think this t-shirt is just a little bit too close to my skin color. Because for a little bit, I thought that I had a big Fred Flintstone tattoo. <laughs> anyway, seventh on the seventh, I had ten. Oh my gosh, I had five. Okay, so buckle in, zip the lip. Because it's my turn again. <laughs> my first sale was this Alexander Wang T. Oh, yeah, T. Like the letter T hits his line. Mm -hmm. Alexander Wang T. T. Alexander Wang. It used to be T by Alexander Wang, but it's changed now. It's Alexander Wang T. I don't um, keep up. It's all uh, ruched twist crop top. And you can tell this is a very new piece because the model had a mask. She had a mask on. <laughs> um, it sold for 49 and I get 39.20. And it actually sold really quick, which is kind of surprising. Mm -hmm. Then to. Susan. Susan. Hello, Susan. She got this really cute pair of pants. Red by Valentino culotte floral print jeans. They sold for $75 and I get $57.54 and I hope she loves those because I adore them. Those are so pretty. Then to Judy. We got another Judy. Judy we got a good Judy, Judy. Judy, do you love me? She got a bundle and she also got one of these Anthropology Heartloom Metallic Stripe sweaters. I actually have, I think, like four more. Please buy them. If you guys want to go offer me 30 or I'll give you 30 with discount shipping. So if you go put them in a bundle and say you want one, I have them in small and medium. She got one of those and then she got this vintage West Western baby pink studded leather belt and a bunch of pink again cute pink bundles like we said pink for spring Perfect. she's here again i screenshot it wrong but i think she paid 45 for this bundle and i get 37.54 and she left a super super sweet love note as well so thank you judy she you said judy. she appreciates all that we do. Oh, all the Judy's are so nice. I know. My then person. I sold this Lost Ink Satin Tied Wide Leg Jumpsuit. I knew this would sell fast. It was it's so cute, so disco. And it was sold at ASOS, but I mean, ASOS doesn't always do that good. But I knew that mm -hmm. this would do good. Mm -hmm. Sold for 35 and I get 28 and that was definitely less than a week. Then I sold this Anthropology Heartloom Red Pink Plush Sweater. Didn't I find this? For I gave it to you. 30 Yes, I think I did. so. I found it at Uniqlo. And I get twenty one fifty four. So lots of heart loom. Good. Interesting. Spring sweaters. Then I sold this Free People print balloon sleeve thermal top. This is one of my favorite Free People pieces to find. We've both found it a number of times. They always oh, do super, those, those super bandana. well. Where it's like a scarf oh, almost as sleeves. Um, the Clash Crush something top. Sure, I don't I, I know. You sell Free People more. So the you name is up them. here. And if I see it, You're I'll like know Michelle. It. Michelle from the Bin Pickers, it's like, she, she knows the name of every style of everything. I want to get into that woman's head and just look at the Rolodex of like brands in bold and then like the of styles yes, that she has. But it's like names, everything. everything. It's like Lululemon, Free People, Anthro. And like she can she, just, oh, this is the like. I wonder if she's one of those people that has like a photo. She's pop. like one of those people that's like, oh, Monday of 1979. That was. <gasps> she has that memory thing where Michelle. you can remember what she ate for lunch like five years ago on a specific date at a specific time i can see it i hope that's you guys. how fun would that be <laughs> this sold for 35 we and i got 25 54 we adore them we love the pickers love the who who doesn't the bin pickers are amazing who doesn't they're like, like the everybody's pickers? like really amazing like recently parents. like aunt and uncle yes like, that you just love to see when they yes. come for christmas <laughs> Okay, back on Then <laughs> I sold this Bowden striped button blazer jacket for 25 I get seventeen fifty four. That was the first person that liked it and the first time I sent an offer out on it. And I think the first day she it said, was listed, which was kind of surprising, but exciting. She said, give me that jacket. Then I sold this Draper James summer straw tote bag, which it's so weird ever since I found this. Every single consignment store I went to has had it. Hmm. Everyone. That's like four of them. Was it a Fab Fit Fun moment? 
That's almost what I was no, thinking. No, I don't but think I don't Reese Witherspoon so. would do that. I don't think she would. And this Free People Knit Dolman Sleeve Sweater. This bundle only sold for 25 and I get 20 but I really didn't want this sweater anymore. And the Draper James was a Ben's fine, so that's fine. And obviously, there's plenty to go around because I've seen them everywhere. They're everywhere now. Then I saw this Anthropology Akemi Kin Lace Batwing Blouse, one of my favorite anthro pieces. I love this top. So for 25 and I get 20 then Jill came on back, like Ryan always says, like, she turned around and came back in, or She whatever. turned right back around and said, this, yeah. this none of those them. She bought this The Land of Nod Dinosaur Plushie, which oh, is a Crate and Barrow bland, bland. Dinosaur? Crate and Barrow brand. Crate and Barrow. This Ray Dunn Herb Graphic Tray Set, which I really wanted to keep, but I listed and Jill snatched it, so I'm glad it's going somewhere good. It's going to a home that we know it will be loved in a And then, close to my heart, she bought this Glass Pumpkin Handle Lantern candle holder which i have 10 billion of because i love them Pretty. and i screenshotted it wrong but i think it's still for 45 and i get 37.54 and I that's it there. for my seven okay my first on the seven vintage southern comfort y2k red thin strap tank top this was literally right under the white bacardi one Sold for 25, I made 20. Then I sold this Dirk Lamb, 10 Crosby, Rococo printed bl blouson. Oh, blouson. The blouson. Yeah, I have no that's idea. Really I'm, like not, French for I'm not French, I'm sorry. Something. Sold for 40 with a shipping discount, I made 29.54. Dirk Lamb, 10 Crosby. Definitely not the same as regular Dirk Lamb. The price market's vastly different. Yeah, but none of it really does that well. No, which I sucks, don't know why. It's so I mean, expensive 10 Crosby, retail. 10 Crosby is still so expensive. Like, like that new? dress was $500, and I sold for 40 yeah and i've had it for forever I don't know why. okay next to the seventh urban outfitters x the grateful dead tie-dye oversized band tee hoodie sold for 40 i made 32 then i sold this new tag alice and olivia patchwork rapunzel mini dress absolutely beautiful literally loved it so much sold for 168 dollars i made a 134.40 nice. that's a me kind of sale. i know oh it was so pretty and you paid up for it i paid 30 dollars for it and i walk away with 104.40 in my pocket after <laughs> that initial 30 dollars moment and then my last on the seventh was the sundance embroidered wide neck boho top sold for 20 minus a shipping discount i made 13.54 on the eighth i did not have any sales i had two this is gonna go very so now quick. i'm gonna zip the leg okay first one on the eighth lf flare crop sleeve black hoodie from chicago sold for 30 i made 24 next hobo gray leather shoulder top handle bag don't remember where i got this sold for 40 i made 32 again then on the ninth i had four i had three Full. I have full. full. I'm full. Full. <laughs> My first one was a bundle, and it was the, that I did screenshot correctly, so Good. I can tell you what it sold for. <laughs> this H and M wool blend beret, this vintage leopard print fuzzy beret, and this anthropology arata floral long coat that was so freaking the cute. What now? The arata. arata. I think arata. that's the brand. Is the arata? Arata. Funny. Arata. I don't know. I read that as Ariat because uh, I'm from the Midwest. <laughs> uh, this bundle sold for one fifty. And I gave free shipping, so I get one twelve fifty five. Then I sold this Polo Ralph Lauren flag print seersucker top for twenty, and I get sixteen. Then I sold these Free People Wrangler white straight mom jeans for thirty, and I get twenty four. And my last and best sale for the week was a sale that happened in seventeen minutes. Listed at five fifty four, sold at six eleven. Something like that. I got yeah. that memorized. It's this rare, my my new absolute favorite brand. Your sell. holy grail bolo. Your holy grail is selling for Poshmark bolo. Rare gal meets glam. Abigail linen floral dress. And this dress sold straight out for my listing price that I thought I was shooting to the moon with for $250. Retailed at maybe one forty five. It was one sixty eight originally. I get two hundred, so I did pay up. I I paid about forty five ish. <laughs> Very beautiful dress. Two hundred fifty dollars. Okay, and that's it for my week. My first on the ninth was this vintage Susan Bristol wool floral button sweater vest. It sold for twenty. I made sixteen. Then I sold this new tag free people California Hills baseball tee. It sold for twenty five with a shipping discount. I made seventeen fifty four. And the last sale went to Shannon. She sent me a lovely little message about these lovely little shoes. So Shannon, I hope you enjoy them. Lovely, lovely, lovely. They were, Everything. they are literally so cute. New without tag, anthropology, Carmen Salas, Carmen Sals, Salas, I don't know. Zebra flats with a little pom-pom on the front. They're adorable. Sold for 48, I made 38.40. My gross for the week was a lot higher than I was expecting. Honestly, when throughout the week, 
I didn't know it was going this way. Inside well. Galmi's glam. Yeah. She I didn't know it was going to be this good of a week. But I grossed 1905 I made $880. And my nose was $1,502.25. So Mine I'm going to was... take that quarter and I'm going to get a gumball. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know where. I, I, every time I hear that, I think, I'm gonna of get this, a gumball. I think of this old Disney commercial my dad always used to talk about. And he goes, thanks it was like a Mickey Mouse gumball machine. I have the That's video. I'll send, it, I'll send it to Jack. That'll be He'll, me with my quarter. Well, I'll see if I can. I'm gonna get a gumball. I'll see if we can edit that video in here. My net was I'll sick. see if we can say something up. If I'll I can talk to the editor. If I can talk to the... I'm, if I can I'm, bribe, I'm friends with the editor. If I can okay. bribe the editor. My net was 694.16, which for really not doing anything you guys, and get you guys, $700 you guys, is great. Take a shot whenever Ryan says, I didn't work at all. You know, I... You, <sighs> Every week, I think I really every week, didn't. every week for April, you're gonna hear that for sure. Yeah, no, that's because it's just deep. accurate. I teach next week, so it's gonna be probably lower, mm -hmm. a lot lower mm -hmm. next week. Week after is week? the week before we move, yeah. and then the first week of May yeah. is I'm gonna take a week long deep breath. Yeah, we is have, what I'm gonna we've do. We've done a lot this week. Ryan figured out his placements for his student <sighs> teaching, teaching in the teaching fall placements. up in Minnesota. Very wonderful. We got Very our exciting. storage unit, which will be our new like posh room. I expect to see a lot of storage unit. We've been pictures. moving things around. We've been filming all weekend to it's do the thrift with us. Us. We've been That's listing. School always gets really busy that last month before finals week. And I'm also trying to tie up all my loose ends because I won't be here. I'm a moving. Mm -hmm. We got lots of things I need to get done. Holy doing. bucket. So I'm actually extremely grateful for this week because I yeah. would not expect this much in sales. But yeah, Any I guess, sales, I guess sale. that's it. So this yeah. week was the third through ninth. How was your th third through ninth? <sighs> what was your favorite thing did you sell? Did you sell anything that you've had? What was your favorite thing did you sell? Too long. What's your what? favorite thing did you sell? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm, I'm at the point now I've done so many projects. I've typed so many things. If I try to put a sentence together and have it sound so somewhat adult it's just gonna come out like those alphabet letters you know, the words don't make sense i'm very tired anyway i'm so sorry <laughs> thank you guys for joining us and i hope that you enjoyed a what's old saturday that we're finally a not very like chaotic what's old cutting saturday. back and forth <laughs> in and stay tuned for Tuesday, we're gonna have a thrift with us, and oh. then which we're going to three different stores in that, and yes. then we a multi-level thrift with us, and then we're gonna have a haul on Thursday. And so thank you guys for watching. Let us know how your week was, and we will see you on Tuesday. Yes, we most definitely will. Bye. Goodbye. I kind of thought so.